Paxobiscu. I've been really busy uh, these past couple of days, just like moving in, getting used to classes, uh, meeting with the new men, doing other like little social events, as well as having to set up my uh, yearbook office. If you're not aware, last year I was chosen to be the yearbook head, and so we had to move offices because one of the dorms was being decommissioned. And so I just had to set up the new office, organize like a bunch of the old yearbooks, all the way from like the 60s, and so that was a lot of work. Uh, today I kind of want to get into what the academic structure kind of looks like for the seminarian. Especially now that I'm in my junior year, I'm doing a lot more classes that focus more on like the philosophy and theology uh, that pertain more to towards something that it seems like a seminarian should do. Whereas in the beginning, it's like biology, English, math, and it's not really like anything particular or special to uh, the seminary or something. So I'm taking five classes, so 15 hours. And so my Monday schedule, I have ancient philosophy. We're reading uh, through Gilgamesh. Then we're going to move on to the Homer, not the Homer, sorry. Homer's the Odyssey, the Iliad, the Aeneid. And so some of those I already read in high school, but we're just going to do a deeper reading of them, as well as writing some essays about that. So that's that. And then also on Monday, I've got ancient philosophy. And so right now we're going through like uh, some of the ancient ones like Heraclitus, Parmenides, and then I've got to read one for tomorrow. I think it's Anaxagoras or Anaximander. And then for Aristotle and Socrates, we're going to do a bit more like writing on them, writing a paper for that. And so that's also uh, a good chunk amount of reading and stuff. Tuesday and Thursday, I've got three classes. I've got liturgical and personal prayer. And so it looks like we're going to be going through, as far as the liturgy side goes, we're going to be looking more into the prayer of the Mass and that structure. And so we have a book titled The Eucharist, and so we're going to be going through that. And then we have another book that we're going to be reading called The Art of Praying, and so we're going to look into that. And so I think we're kind of going to look into uh, just trying to deepen our personal prayer life, uh, especially through like meditation, contemplation, just trying to obviously, you know, get step off from the just like pure vocal prayers, uh, but definitely really get into having that intimate, deep relationship, communion with God, right? That unmediated relationship where it's just you and God. And so I think that's where that class is going to be headed. We've only had a couple of classes uh, with the priest that's teaching that class. So we're going we're gonna to see where he takes it. Then also on Tuesday, Thursday, I have ancient history. I've been enjoying that. That class is pretty easy. We have a great professor. He makes everything a story, which is good because it's a history. And so we're just going through ancient, like, Greco civilization, and then we're going to move on to Rome, and then we're going to end with the fall of Rome. And so his class is pretty easy. It's just a bunch of lectures. For the midterm and final, we have to write uh, in-class essays. You have to write, like, three, like, two-page essays, I believe. Like, three, yeah, because it's six pages, I think. Like, three two-page essays on, on topics that you, you'll know about beforehand. So just trying to plan out what you're going to write beforehand, kind of memorize some notes, a little outline, then write it in class. And then there's another research essay for him that we're going to do. And I think I'm going to write about the Peloponnesian War. I don't know what exactly. Normally when I write essays, I just read a book. No, not like read a whole book. But I typically like read a source and then whatever arguments or points they make, I like just like argue that or against it or something. Because I find it's much easier to get a source, read about it, and then extract a thesis from there. Because then it's like, oh, and the text supports it. Versus having a thesis and then having to go specifically find that part in the book where it supports your thesis. So on the one hand, I kind of lose that freedom of being able to choose whatever argument I want or whatever topic I want. But on the other hand, I find it just a bit easier uh, just because I can skim through the book, find something that interests me, and then be like, hey, you know what, I'm going to, this book talks a lot about the economics of the war. I'll, I'll write about that. So I, I find that easier. And so it's like, yeah, we've got tons of essays, tons of reading. So yeah. Sometimes it's better to go with what's easy. And then also on my Tuesday, Thursday schedule, oh, what other class do I have? Oh, ethics. Right, the one that I forget. We have ethics. And that class is also, it's one of the, not like easy ones. There is like readings that you have to keep up with before each class, but they're not super long. And then the professor will lecture, and then we'll typically discuss some questions pertaining to that philosopher and his thought, and kind of like fleshing out the questions, putting them into practice. And so I, I really like that aspect because it's not just like teaching you philosophy, it's teaching you how to uh, philosophize, so it's teaching you like how to become a better thinker. And so I, I really enjoyed that, I, as long as you have a good small group. So we have like a, you keep the same small group throughout the whole semester, so depending on where you sit in the beginning, that's who's in your small group. I think I have a pretty good small group, we have we have a lot of good discussion, everyone's able to bounce ideas off each other, and we, and we get into arguments, which is good because it makes time pass quickly. And then it also allows us to kind of like formulate thoughts and better opinions and, and just like better arguments really 
um, because there's kind of like a, a bit of a clash on like how we interpret the text or how we think, um, you know, just different philosophers, how they think that uh, their ideas should work out. So that's about a brief overview of what the class structure is like. Uh, definitely entering junior year, I did notice, yeah, a lot more reading, um, a lot more essays to write. And so, you know, as long as you you uh, you keep a schedule, right, you like write it down what you need to read and when and what you got to write about. It's it can be very easy to get uh, like swamped or something, but it's also very easy to stay on top of it as long as you have like a game plan and you make sure you follow it and you just stay on top of it and you don't procrastinate. It's just like you do it as it comes in and then, you know, it's smooth sailing from there. I've got to get to night prayer now, so I'll make a, another video later. I know it's been a while, but I just needed to, to make a quick one to, to check in with y'all. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, pray for us.